guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a mukbang. We've got some surfing crab, some drinks, and some questions that y'all asked on um, Instagram and Twitter. So we thought we would eat and answer. Talk about yeah. yeah, talk about questions. I went ahead and zoomed y'all in a little bit. We've never done a mukbang before. We don't really know how to like. <laughs> <laughs> do these type of things, but I know people like show off their food. Okay, so we usually get like a pound of snow crab, um, a pound of crawfish, um, sausage, potato, extra potatoes, and corn. What are you gonna get first? I, I usually like to eat crab first. Really? Yeah. Oh, I know, even though it's like super messy. It didn't come with gloves in the thing, so I'm just gonna be messy. This crab hurts. It's, it's so cool. Ow, no, like it has like little beacles on it. I'm just gonna like. Oh my god, no, like that. No. Why? Chill out, man. Why? <laughs> oh my god. Break it in half. Mm mm. <laughs> oh wow. Don't be looking more gorgeous than me, wait. Right? Um, I thought I look white on camera. Don't talk like that either. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> okay. uh, talk about why slash how y'all chose the hair industry at y'all's careers. I just felt like we had area that were young and I was working like a mediocre job and she was already like gonna be two and mm -hmm. we were still living at my grandma's so I just felt like, you know, we were, we were already like, not looking bad, but pressured to do what a dad should do. And just not, like and make, make money like fast. Just put her in that, put, put her in, in her own room and stuff, like living in my grandma's. Mm -hmm. I mean, helped, I mean, helped us too. So I just felt motivated to get a career under my belt already. Mm -hmm. Outside of working, like, it was either work or school and I knew, I mean, barbering was something that uh, I've always been into, I guess. Yeah. Same for me. I was actually like working at Ace where there were hairstylists, but they weren't doing blondings or anything like that. So I was like, oh, I could definitely bring blondings and like highlights and stuff like that to this salon. I feel like, and it was going to be something that I like to do. It wasn't going to be. Yeah, I was about to say that. Um, I really definitely wasn't just going to go into any, anything. I want to do something I would enjoy doing, doing. because. That was my thing too, like going to school, because I did also want to go to school for like nursing and I feel like having Ari made me want to go into like the OBGYN field, um, like a delivery nurse or anything like that. So that was like my thing, but I thought, okay, I'll just go to school for Cosmo. So if I didn't like it, it would only be a year wasted of school rather than going to school for like, I don't even know how long, like four to maybe six years and then realizing like oh this isn't really what I actually wanted to do. I think it's paid off. Like Oh definitely. We like our jobs. What's your biggest worry about parenting so far? <clears throat> I feel like I guess like mine is just like providing. I feel like I'm scared to like not be able to like provide. Uh, but I feel like that's anybody's like of course you don't plan to like live like And as a dad with two girls I really don't know. You know I grew up with a lot of brothers so I don't like No girls. Yeah, like, I mean, I know girls, but, like, yeah, raising them. Yeah, because I feel like with boys, you can be a lot harder. And girls, like, for girl dads, I feel like you just gotta be more careful on the shit that you say, things you talk about. Was, um, when are we going to have our boy? Shit, if I knew it was a boy. I would be pregnant tomorrow. Yeah. Like. Just, that's like this the scary thing. Um really not that we wouldn't mind having a girl, but it's like we have two girls. Boy, we, <laughs> yeah, we want a boy. So if we have another girl, we're gonna have another four kids. That was another question. How many kids do we want? I only want three kids. I would say four tops. Yeah, but I would say four because his thing is like if we have another son or if we have a son we're gonna have another one to give him a brother i can't just be having too many kids you know it's expensive 
too. You can. I feel like my mouth is hot already. Your whole body's hot. Mm. Well, what is an inside joke that you and Brandon would only know? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like what do we? I feel like we joke around a lot, honestly. And I feel like, but I don't know necessarily inside, inside joke. joke. Yeah. I mean, we're with each other all the time, so I feel like. We're always talking about shit. We're always. Yeah, I, I, I mean, feel I feel like there's, mean, a, there's a lot of stuff that we um, discuss about. within each other that mm -hmm. we see that we know that's funny that we're like, oh shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just hard like, to Like, let's explain. say we're, like, we're, I don't know. But Ayla's really not like a, uh, she's like a dry humor. Her, her, her jokes and stuff are like. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll be with people, and I'll be just saying shit that I say all the time, and yeah, Brandon's they're just cracking like, up. And, and I'm she, just looking at him like... She she might be cracking up because she's like, they're laughing, but like... I um, hear this shit all, all the time. time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, Brandon's just that guy. He's just loud. But no. I feel like I've gotten a little bit more, like, better at it. Because I feel like you, you'll you be like, dude, you've been hanging out with me for, like, too yeah, long. Dude, like, I'm like, rubbing off on yeah, you. Yeah, I think y'all know Ayla, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's what, yeah. Not, I know, because sometimes and when I people... I sometimes, like, when she says like, dude, right? like, <laughs> I guess yeah. I, I do look dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I do look dumb. No, yeah, because a lot of people, too, will constantly, like, ask me. And I feel like people are being, like, kind of serious. They'll be like, how, how are you, you with do? this guy? Like, how do you deal with him? I guess I'm not that out there, but, like, I'm like that, like, with you. It's like, it's like you're so loud. You're, like, you're the... Like you try to be the last of the party. He's like, like the center of attention. And I'm like, bro, that's not even. I'm not even trying to be. I'm just like, I'm just dumb as fuck. Yeah. I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how the why I say how the shit. Yeah. I say. Okay. Another question. What are some goals you have individually and also as a couple? Oh, uh, I don't know. I feel sometimes a little weird like talking about goals because I mean I put them out all the time. My goals and like things that I want to be done like to Brian and I tell them all the time to like my close friends I'm like oh like this is the shit I want to do a big goal of mine I guess let me just go ahead and say it would just be to like do YouTube like full time I don't know what it is about YouTube I just want to do it so bad she sees the potential um we have in us being you know both hairstylist and mm -hmm. you know I guess I mean just having the life to YouTube so you know, yeah, it's a little bit more like we're yeah. in the life. We're in a small town, and out of the small town, she sees us really exceeding in YouTube. Yeah, I feel like if we put our all into it, then we could do it. Yeah, yeah potential. So, yeah. so that's why she's such on. That's her big goal. It's not like there's some, there's some dumb thought. Like, yeah. We've gotten already feedback. and. Yes, that's the thing. I feel like I film YouTube videos, and like. If I didn't have any like good feedback or before I'm like, oh like hey, when are you gonna post a video? Or, like, vibes. Yeah, like if, if so many I'm sure there are people out there that are like this bitch, like doing YouTube, like it's yeah, dumb. Like, I'm about this. Yeah. YouTube. And she really does. She really does. I mean she loves doing hair and stuff, but she tells me all the time YouTube is where it's at and Yeah. That's where she really wants to exceed and that, I, I've said this before I love doing hair I'm not in love with doing hair like I don't care I don't see myself in 20 years being like I'm still doing hair I'm still rocking it and I'm gonna like slay like every body I like and that's just not what I see myself doing I feel like I see myself in 20 years like living the life that I want to live and that's that's just not the life that I want to live so I feel like this is what I want to do I don't know. It's hard to explain. Oh yeah, a goal of mine, a goal of mine um, right now is to make money while I can sleep, and not necessarily be asleep making money, but while I could, you know, be not working physically. So I guess that would be. Um, I mean, I know real estate and renting houses is unrealistic at the time, but that mm -hmm. maybe owning a barbershop and a, a shoe. A shoe store or some stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because um, that's what I really love. I, like, I love shoes. I love clothing. I love. Yeah. So that's a goal of mine. Um, eventually, and I'm only 25, so I know I have time, and you just gotta work hard. Yeah, that's what I'm to... That's my goal. The goals that we like want to pursue, like we need to work at them like now. Like I know, like we're young. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, but as, as she said, 
she don't see herself doing hair in 20 years. Like, yeah, because, you know, hair is a trend and trends tend to go. And mm -hmm. there's old school barbers that are still cutting to this day. Your clientele follows you, but, you know, who's to say, you f I physically got to be there to be making that sort of money. I'm saying like, about the money, it's just, um, the lifestyle that you want Generational wealth. Mm hmm Generational yeah. wealth. I want to set my kids up to be good. Yeah. What is our goal as a couple? What'd you say? To get married, which we basically are. Mm -hmm. And to motivate each other to do each other's goals that we want to do and mm -hmm. get a bigger home. Yep. Um, talk about your experiences with young parenthood and how it made y'all grow as a couple. Oh, that's my favorite. Fave. So young parenting could either go one or two ways, mm -hmm. bad or good. Mm -hmm. People always praise us because, you know, we went the good route. But I feel like when your heads are both on the same page and you're not looking for something the other one's not, mm -hmm. it works out perfect. And I was in love with this girl from the jump. So that, that wasn't even a worry, you know, looking for other girls. Or I wanted to give my kid, which was off the first question. Yeah. Well, made us choose our career. Um, I just wanted to, you know, raise her right, and mm -hmm. the dad should. So, I feel like obviously we would talk about things, and um, we just both knew like we didn't want our parents, to, like we didn't want them to be separated as parents. So we knew like we wanted a strong relationship. We both knew that we wanted to like to have our kids. And honestly, uh, she was probably in high school if y'all didn't know. Mm -hmm. And like just walking those halls with her belly big, like. It felt some type of way, you know, and yeah, it wasn't something sure people, that we were like yeah, proud yeah, of. Yeah, 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 and I appreciate sure people, and I'm sure friends of ours thought some type of way. Like yeah, that. for sure, a lot of people. So a lot of people have even said before, like I'm like I'm surprised y'all made it, you know, like or yeah. like y'all are even like still a couple. Yeah, so it, it was just like it was that it was that yeah, yeah. Like, like we knew young parenting isn't the way to go. Why are you doing that? Oh, the camera. oh my god. <laughs> yeah, anyways. We knew like young parenting wasn't the way and we just wanted to I think we just wanted to prove people, people yeah. wrong, honestly. Yeah. Um obviously we loved each other. But um, along that road there, there it wasn't like difficult. Yeah, it wasn't. But that's why I, I, yeah, like, I was always my thing. Like when people I don't know, and I people have always said like, and I understand that I think like Brandon's a different guy, because I feel like in my head I used to always be like, oh well, like I'm sure any girl can change a guy, you know. But I feel like sometimes a guy has to want to change himself. You can't necessarily change a guy and like put things into their head to make them want to be a good dad or like a good person or a good boyfriend. Like they have to want to do that, and he wanted to do that, so. <laughs> It just like worked hand in hand and I feel like he knew too that I was going to be... Just give him the same respect. That was like my mom's thing. It's always been our yes, thing. Yes, honestly. I've, I've always about her feelings mm -hmm. before mine. And I appreciate that. Of course. Hello. I love you. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your perfect date night versus B's perfect date night idea? You go first. What's your perfect date night, babe? My perfect date night would have to be on a vacation, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or just me and you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be simple too, but you know, um, or yeah, it could be simple too. I feel like tub bass with the candles. I <laughs> 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 like that. Mm -hmm. um, which I like that too. It, mm -hmm. it is romantic with some music. Yeah. With some wine. Yes. That's, it's like intimate. I'm like fucking ready to like still eat it's the sauce i'm addicted to it what was a defining moment in y'all's relationship where y'all knew it was gonna work i mean i feel like the whole road from when you had when you were pregnant i f was assuming it was gonna work the whole time yeah so like i mean a moment though that defines it i guess whenever she had my kid i was like damn i knew that i loved her definitely and i wasn't gonna mess up to mm -hmm. ruin that so that was a defining moment for me like damn yeah not even it's gonna work like it's gonna work i'm gonna make this work yeah unless you know she did something to the where point or sorry yeah I know, so. 
Well, honestly, yeah, dude, she, I don't hold it down too. I've learned mm-hmm. re- in, in recent times that she will, you know, money isn't an issue and mm-hmm. she, is, she is definitely not one to brag or bows or, you know, talk shit about financial stuff and, you know, that, that'll that help too. I mean, regardless. Yeah, it, it yeah I feel like it just, every part of our relationship kind of just like, Load. No, you know what? what was a time point for me. Um, I feel like, I, like whenever I got pregnant, I didn't have like my family really there to like back me up. So I moved in with his, and I feel like in a way, um, I feel like everyone else saw me as like this like person that like needed to like be taken care of. And I feel like for Brandon, it was like, oh my gosh, like I get to just like be with my girlfriend and like we get to take showers together. And like, I feel like for him, everything was like just like fun. And I feel like he never like saw me like a like, what's what's the word? I was like this like little girl, like, oh, I need to take care of her. Like, let me just like. You felt, um. I felt like he loved me. And he didn't see past like, he saw like me. You were worried about. What I wasn't worried about. Yeah, I was so like, oh my god, he's gonna think like my family is not supportive or like they can't help me financially or you know, and like that, he was yeah, gonna like, treat me like, like, like. Um. No, I liked bringing her under my wing and. Yeah, he always is like, you're my baby, like, you know. Um, she is. <laughs> th- this video is gonna be very like <laughs> emotional, um, but it's cute. I like it. I'm down for it. Oh, okay, is there another one? You keep eating, baby. I'll, I'll be <laughs> I know, baby. I'm just like, I feel like you're making me look bad on camera. Why? Because you're not eating. I'm just No, I ate my already. I, ate I know. Episode, Maybe because I'm a slow eater. Um, If you both could have chose another profession, what would it be? Right out of high school, I wanted to go. So honestly, my first thoughts are, if I'm going to get a career, it's going to be something I would love to do and be around every day. So it was like kinesiology for me. I wanted to coach, be around sports. Mm-hmm. But... Um, I guess it was the basics for me that I knew I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was the basic for me. I knew I wasn't gonna like follow through with college and stuff. I mean, not that I'm dumb as a rock, but I'm dumb as a rock. No, I'm just <laughs> no but I. One of the things I just no, like my, everyone my, has like a, a attention span. Uh huh. Attention span is like. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Um, like I want to focus and I'll be focusing, but I know I can't. So basically, yeah, um, it would have to be coaching. Or, yeah, if we're being realistic, I mean, if, if you, another profession, fucking surgeon, but, mm-hmm. you know, we ain't doing all that. Um, mm-hmm. That or, I guess, work with my um, stepdad, honestly, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as a welder. I yeah, would, I, I would you probably would have done that, yeah. Yeah. For me, oh, well, like I said, if I wasn't going to do this field, then I would probably wasn't going to go to college. And um, I've always seen myself going to college. I never really, like thought I wasn't going to um I was honestly just kind of playing with like oh let's see how Cosmo school goes and let's and if it doesn't go good then I'll go back to school for I'll go to school for college um but it ended up working out really great so I do go back to school but um like I said I around the same time that I started going to Cosmo school well not even I started my YouTube little channel and i feel like if i would have stayed cons- i was on youtube i started going to cosmos school and i like kind of dropped it and i feel like if i would have stayed consistent that was like what maybe like three or four years ago i feel like maybe i could have been somewhere and that kind of like discourages me in a way you know i feel I mean, like honestly like there's enough time in the day but we're, honestly, honestly, we're filming this video and it's 12 30 at night, it's a.m. Mm-hmm. And Amar woke up. Amar, so, yeah, just woke up. Yeah, like you two. I mean, we get it done, but it's that's a lot of work. Yeah. It's not easy getting on camera, editing, well, filming, editing, and working, hosting. kids, kickball, every just like everything, school, life in general. So, but I'm gonna make it a thing. As I'm running, like I'm giving myself yeah, one. Going. Yeah, I'm giving myself like one year. To like post like crazy and just prove that I could do it to myself, you know? 
Um, yeah, so I'm excited about it. I'm not gonna be slapping anymore. I have like four videos planned. So I feel like it could only go up from here and hopefully more to come. So, but I'm going to go check on Amara. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the video by myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you guys so much for sending videos or for sending questions. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know how I like this video. I feel like it was a little bit different. We got a little bit more into like realistic shit. So that was exciting. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.